Every time someone is sitting across from you, in fact, you're probably thinking that same thing now. You go, I gotta sit through this damn training the entire day, what's in it for me, right? And one of the things we're, we're gonna do in a minute here is we're gonna look at your personal introductions. The crazy part about personal in introductions, the mind-blowing part, is that it's not really about you. Now, the information in it is about you, but it's not about you. It's about making a connection with somebody else, right? We're also going to talk about our go-to-market methodology. A personal introduction, when you meet somebody for the first time, it, it, I'm, I'm, I still continue to be, as decades pass, blown away. I have a book that will be coming out soon, and one of the uh, parts of the book talks about personal introductions. I'm blown away. Parents don't teach you how, how to introduce yourself. High school te teachers don't. College professors don't. Bosses don't. Why does no one teach you how to make a great first impression? No one teaches you how to be a leaning forward in their chair, game-changing introduction. Why is that? I don't know. So what do we all do? We just assimilate to what I guess you're supposed to do, which is your name, rank, and serial number, right? Which is your, my name is John Smith, I'm the VP of whatever, and I've been at XYZ for two years. Mind-blowing, no one cares. They're all the same. Whether it's hip-hop, whether it's pop, whether it's classic rock, they're all the same. You start with a verse, right? It's kind of the storytelling part, right? Then you go to this catchy part, that's called the chorus, right? Then they tell you another verse to kind of, you know, submerge you into the story a little bit more. Then you do a chorus again. Then you have this different part that's called the bridge, right? And then you do another chorus and then the song ends. Either fades out or just ends with a cool little abrupt moment. The point is, they're all the same. Every meeting is the same. Every single one is the same. One of the things that technical people like about this, I've heard so many times in the past, is that we're gonna dissect every 10, all 10 steps to every meeting that you'll ever have, whether it's a technical meeting, whether it's a planning session, whether it's a customer session, whether it's an internal session, you're, you're evaluating one of your employees, all the same after a while. You master those, you, you become much more effective. Just asking for what you want. This is very powerful in life, okay? It is infectious, it is exciting, and it's not just for salespeople or for the executive team. It's for the entire or organization. And when, when that culture, it, it transcends who's going to the meeting. It's exciting.